this is CG1 and thank you so much for joining me once again. Do you ever feel like you're at a stage in your life and you haven't done as much as you would have liked to have done? Or maybe it's goals that you had and you, you haven't achieved them yet or you, you set out to have done something that when you reach a certain age you'd have done but you're nowhere near or you're not looking like you're going to achieve it or you're going to hit that target. And I know it can be very discouraging because I must say this is one of the things that I really struggle with because there are some times that I reach or and I'm like, oh man, Joe, you haven't done anywhere near as much as you would have liked to have done or you, you plan to have done at this stage and this and that. And, and that can be very discouraging. And, and sometimes I even get discouraged by that. But the, the issue is dwelling on, on what we haven't done or what is wrong and how far we are from it. The issue is looking at the situation and being like, oh, look at other people or look at this person or looking at that person. They, they're so much far ahead. Look how much they've, they've managed to have done in such a short space of time. And look at you what's going on and, and that can be really difficult but I, I've understood that you see when you look at what you don't have in life it, it may seem like you don't have nothing but when you look at what you do have then you realize that you have much and I'm not saying that it's a case of being delusional and just saying that oh you, you haven't done nothing but I've done a lot what, what I'm saying is that there is much progress to be made when you take steps or small steps at a time but this evil trick because when you dwell on what you could have done that's a, that's a trick to stop you from what you can do there's no point dwelling on the past and what you could have done look at what you can do and, and that's what I like to tell myself. That's what I remind myself whenever I, I begin to fall into that trap that, oh man, what have you actually done? What, what do you have? And I'm, I'm looking at her, Joe, look how much you've done. This is what you've done. You've done this, you've accomplished this, you've done that. Yeah, fair enough, you're a bit behind on that. But look how far you've come. And I want you to start reminding yourself when you fall into this, this situation where you feel like, ah, oh, you're at this age and you haven't done this and you haven't done that. We, we're, we're all on different time zones. We're all running our own race. It's important for us to stay in our lane. Every single person has their own time and has their own season. It may differ between person to person, but stay loyal to your own race. And that's actually for me to stay loyal to my own race because it's so easy to look left and right and be like oh man I'm about to hit a certain age and I'm nowhere near this or I haven't achieved that or I haven't hit this target or it's about seeing that okay what do I need to do now what can I do to actually gain that level of satisfaction to gain that level of accomplishment that I want that's so much better than actually just falling into this trick of oh, I should have done this or I should have done that just do it now the past is gone the present is here the future is there don't look at what you haven't done and let it distract you from what you can do now what can you do now? live life intentionally don't focus on what you could have done. Focus on what you're going to do. Focus on what you're doing. And let that be your motivating factor. Because it's what is in you that causes you to rise up. It's what is in you that makes you to achieve success. Not what is around you, but what is in you. The simple lesson is, don't fall into the trick of looking at what you could have done because that will only discourage you from what you can do. Ask yourself, what do I want to do 
in order to hit and achieve my goals? And what's the smallest things I can start now to get me to where I want to be? This is CG1 and you have the seed of greatness. Thank <laughs> you.